That's why we drink it here And when we're all gone from here Our friends will be drinking all the beer All right, so here it is unboxed Fermenter, 14 gallons It's got nice extension there it Doesn't take up a whole lot of room It's got these nice handles Here's the cover Obviously it's going to get put on as does all the components, but a uh, really nice piece. Definitely the most expensive item I've brought yet for, for brewing. Here's the items here. This is some of the blow off uh, kit. Here's all the stuff that goes on. Um, I went with the tri clamps. Nice, quick, easy cleaning. So happy about that. Casters, this will uh, let this thing roll. So I don't have to worry about picking it up and things like that. So um, I'll make another video here shortly when I put it together. All right, so here are all the parts. I'm gonna start putting this together. We gotta put them basically right here, down below here, and then up top is where the others are gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and start and I'll uh, just shoot some videos as I go and, and get this thing set up. So we got the dump bulkhead put on here. Basically it just gets screwed on there, comes down here. You can see this here ring is going to get put right here. And then this piece here is going to get attached to that. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room between this and the floor. So um, I may have to raise this up a little bit or it is going to be on caster. So we'll see where that goes. If that doesn't work, then I still may have to raise it up. It's really kind of tight, but not a big problem. Um, considering we'll pick it up to do anything, but anyway, we'll put this piece on and then we'll go on to, uh, this valve. So we've got the rotating rack arm assembled now. This is going to go right here. And then this is going to connect to it from the inside. This will go down into the fermenter. And, uh, this will be what? You bottle from what you test from everything like that so this piece here will basically be like this but on the inside um facing down sorry block that with my hands like that and then it'll come out into this right here this will all be connected and then basically from here you can connect up posing or whatever to take samples or to bottle your beer keg it whatever So the valves are assembled here. Here's the dump valve, all connected in. Here's the uh, filling valve, the rotating arm. If you come down in here, you see that it's pointed sideways. It's actually kind of a neat little feature that they do so you can keep track of where it's at. When you come back here, you rotate this. I'll do that. And as you spin it, the arms point down. So you always know which way your arms pointed. So basically when you're getting ready to bottle or do anything, you just turn this this way. Turn that on, out it'll come, and then all other times you basically just leave it in the up position like that, and it's good to go. So now we'll start working on the lid. All right, so here's the lid. This is the valve, the cover, actually, that goes in here, and uh, here's the pressure relief valve that sits on top here, so obviously if there's any... Pressure coming from the bottom. This lets this move just a little bit. This is a weighted thing. Um, so let's say, so basically this comes in from the bottom here. I don't know if I can do this and hold the camera. So probably not. I'll show you what it looks like done in a second. All right, so I slid that in and basically now all I gotta do is just push this down, which is not easy to do while not holding it. There we go, covers on, there's that. So. Basically, with this, you can you can um, take this off if need be during brewing. I can do this with one hand. You can spin it like, obviously, what you'd want to do, actually. Let me do this again. Take this piece off first so you don't drop it. And then you can open this. And this comes out. It's kind of hard right now because I'm looking through the camera lens. But basically, this is designed to come out like that. You can add things, things like that. If you have to do some dry hopping or anything like that, or if you want to 
do some ingredients for secondary or use this to fill or anything like that. And then this comes back in like so. Again, I'm not left-handed, so it's not super easy for me to do while holding the camera. Like that, push that down, good to go. Pressure relief goes back on top. So this will go, this is important during the primary. After that's done, when you open this, it won't release any pressure or anything like that. If you want to add things, then you have to take the whole lid off. All right, so the last part here is the parts for the blow off assembly. This will go here. It'll sit in there. This will come out of the top and it'll connect to a one inch tube, which will go down into sanitized solution in a bucket and basically be able to, um, it's just easier than putting the other option, obviously, is putting one of these on there, um, which in this case may work because this is so big, it's 14 gallons. And if I only do a seven gallon batch or something, there's plenty of room, but just to be safe, we'll go with the whole blow off tubing. That's what I've been using with my other fermenters. It works well. And so we're going to put this together and connect it to the lid. All right. So the valve for the blow off tube is connected. Basically right here, you've got a one inch barb. This will come down. It'll come down past this leg. Here's a clamp down here to hold it. And then there'll be a bucket down here below. I may have to raise this up. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room after I put the casters on. But a nice little feature here too is uh, you unscrew this. Say when you're going into secondary, you can pop this off. These tri clamps are very nice. You saw how easy that comes off. And then you can go ahead and drop in this little stopper like that. The bung for the airlock and put an airlock in. Then you don't have to leave that whole thing attached. You can take that off and let it go. So good for primary. This is good for secondary. I've actually got that going on in one of my other fermenters right now. So works out pretty well. All right, so the cast air assembly is complete. Nice and easy to move now. I will say 100% putting those casters on was the worst part of the job. It was insanely difficult. Um, I have to tighten that back up now. But uh, yeah, it just wasn't easy. Um, probably took three times as long as it did to take every, do everything else. But it is definitely a nice feature. Um, and one thing I will say is if you buy one of these, Put the casters on first and then put this stuff on it's a pain in the neck working around it so anyway that's the completed product minus the lid i took that off to lay this flat you can see the inside here's the hose the line coming in again you twist this down and you're good to go i just realized that that bar will be in the way so i guess the most i can do is right about there so i might have to adjust that uh, because of this bar to get underneath oh no i guess it comes out i thought it was in the way it's close it's kind of in the way yeah it is so anyway i'll have to uh with this bracket here um that's a little bit bad of a design too but i can adjust that uh accordingly and just move this down so it's even it's almost there now anyway from where it's at so anyway there's the fermenter done i'll show more about putting this stuff together because i'll have to take it apart to sanitize it um when i uh go ahead and use it so that's where we're at so I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to use this thing here in a couple weeks.